What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Alrighty, so we finally got to the top of Mount Coronet, and we got the whole gang waiting for us. Look at that. Our boss is doing something important. I am just paraphrasing, so let's just battle right now. Alrighty. Let's do this. Double battle right now. Maximum effort. I'm just gonna flex my muscles and I'm just gonna show you guys how it's done right here. I'm gonna kick your asses. Oh, that ass. Anywho, yes, in our last episode, we went through Mount Coronet, defeated quite a few trainers and all that stuff, and uh, this is an effort to stop Mount or to stop uh, Team Galactic from fulfilling some kind of twisted plot, which would be trying to create a new world. Because remember, we went straight to the Mount or the Team. Why, why do I keep on saying Mount? I mean, the Team Galactic uh, hideout or building or whatever. We found out that they created red chains out of the emotion Pokemon. And they want to create a whole new world and all that stuff and you know Cyrus is just you know the asshole that he is yeah of course I'm just speaking so as you can see I'm kicking butt toothless is hiding I just I literally hurt both Crow Gunk and Stunky and here we go dig for the win alrighty there's one guy down and uh, let's see what we got more experience points not that well minimal experience points right there and uh, here we go with the Surf. Unfortunately, Toothless is going to get hurt right here, but not that hurt, because it's a Dragon-type Pokemon. And I guess Dragons actually do thrive in water, I guess. I don't know, depending on the Dragon. And uh, would you look at that? We defeated these guys, right? Or do they have two Pokemon? I want to know. But right now, Donatello's grown to level 48, which is always good. I mean, look at his stats. They're amazing, except for his speed. And then here comes another Krogonk. Wow. And another Glamio, okay. Or, no, actually a, a Glamio and stuff. And, uh, well, I'm gonna do the same combination right here. Dig and Surf, Dig and Surf. I'm trying to hurt both these guys right here. So let's go with the Dig on you, and uh, let's go with, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, a Surf on you, because yes, it's a known fact, especially, you know, through our education on cartoons, cats do not like water. <laughs> Oh, there we go, Glamio, nice chunk taken away, and uh, Krogunk, eh, whatever, and here we go, with the Sludge Bomb, oh crap, I have a feeling we're gonna get poisoned right here, will we get poisoned? No, that's right, we are impermeable, impermeable to poison, and uh, well, there's a Sucker Punch, but here we go, with the Dig Attack, alrighty, that's right, what now, Krogunk, what now? And, uh, let's see, surf attack, because cats do not like water, and, uh, alrighty, alrighty, yes sir, yes sir, Rebob, we just won, what now, okay, so as you can see, toughness on all the grunts, and that's me, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're embarrassed because they lost to a kid right there, so after defeating these guys, these guys are like, we're not capable of slowing you down. We'll let you get, we'll let you pass, but the next guys are gonna pulverize you. So, what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon because we do have another double battle, and uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, I feel a disturbance in the force. If you guys catch my drift, yeah. Oh God, I really don't want to do this. Why do they? Why do they make him, my? Quote unquote friend slash quote unquote rival. I don't know. All right, so here we go going forward, and here we have two ca commanders. We got Mars and Jupiter, and they're telling us that they're going to destroy us, or they're, they're going to destroy me. But as you can see, Barry's right here, and he wants revenge after losing to Jupiter or Mars. I don't know. I'm still laughing at you for that, Barry. I'm never going to live it down. So here we go, double battle. Let's do this. Commander Mars and Jupiter against uh, you. You know me. It's me, GLD, and uh, uh, this dumbass right here, Barry. So here we go. He comes out with a Munchlax, and I got myself Hero because, you know, Bronzor, fire, fire Pokemon, they, 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 they don't like fire Pokemon. And so here we go. Fire Fang takes a nice good amount, and uh, yeah, they're going to try and increase their defenses. And uh, I wouldn't be so surprised if they tried to increase their, their special defense, and uh, crud. Ah, Jesus. Okay, so we're confused now, and Munchlax right here is trying to act like the hero. So let's go oh, hurt ourselves. Thanks a lot, asshole. 
And there's a rock slide hitting the both of us. So now that that that's not good at all for me. I don't care about yeah, look at that light screen. Yeah, I don't care about Barry at all. You guys already know that I hate Barry with a bloody passion. He's not my favorite uh, he's not my favorite character at all. I don't know why. He just gives me he just he just annoys me. So here we go. Come on, Firefang! Let's go. Firefang defeats the Bronzor. You see, that's one Pokemon down. What are you doing, Barry? You're lowering defenses, you asshole. Oh, God. And, uh, of course, there's that extra sensory that you, uh, that we're talking about right there. And, yeah, he, yeah, he's just using physical attacks against a Steel-type Pokemon. And look, the first contribution is actually made, which is paralyzed the Pokemon in front of us. And here we have Mr. Fartknocker himself, Skuntank, and come on, Hera. Come on, yes. You see, I'm just looking at Barry right there. See, that's how you take care of a Steel-type Pokemon. You make him faint. So that's score two, Barry zero. Of course, I'm getting very competitive right here, and oh god. Skuntank coming out with his poison jab, and there goes Hera. But don't worry, guys. I got the right Pokemon for the job right here. Launch being, uh, you know, the hero. Oh, look at, would you look at that? It was a critical hit, but, you know, these commanders, they're smart. They like to, uh, you know, equip their Pokemon with, uh, with berries and stuff, too. So, I'm gonna be switching out right here, and, uh, let's go straight to Starblade. Oh, yeah. Alright, and, uh, oh, wow, two of the ugliest Pokemon ever. Starblade or Skuntank and Perugly right here. Two of the fat ass Pokemon that I like to call. So let's see. Let's go right ahead and uh, well, let's go right ahead and just uh, do that. But of course, they, they're going to pick on Barry because, you know, he's a weak trainer. So here we go. Close combat. Finish him off. Or her off. I don't know. Look at that. All right. And uh, oh, crud. Of course, the stats are going to be lowered. Don't like that. And, uh, well, you gotta love the, you gotta love the commanders, you gotta commend them for the, their, their berries and stuff, and whatever, not this berry. And, uh, say goodbye to Munchlax. Okay, Barry, you asshole, what are you gonna do about that? And, uh, their reflect is off, and as you can see, he does have himself a hair across right here. So, I'm gonna show you how this is done, alright, let's do this again, and, uh, crud. Aerial Lace onto Heracross. Of course, that's quadruple damage because it's both the fighting and, and bug type Pokemon. Look at that. I'm looking at Barrett right now and I'm just like, you serious? Are you freaking serious? So there we go. Close combat for the win. Perugly defeated. Fatality. That's right. I'm still into Mortal Kombat and all that stuff. And this guy has Flamethrower. And it looks like he's shooting it out of his ass. That's that's just the funny part right there. And, uh, oh, there goes my... Oh, damn. Fried chicken. Starblade became a fried chicken and, uh... Okay, nearly faints right there. So now... I'm gonna have to switch out my Pokemon right here. Oh, okay. So he's coming out with his own... His own Staraptor right here. <sighs> well, the only thing you can do is intimidate them. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna switch... I kind of want to hit all of the Pokemon, and I mean all of them. I don't care about Barry right now. I really don't. It's all about me. But tri uh, tri uh, Triple Intimidate right here. That way everybody, or these two uh, opposing Pokemon can't hurt me. And there's that takedown attack. Will they do it? Can it do it? Barry, oh my god. I swear to god. Get stronger Pokemon, you asshole. So there we go. Air Cutter. You suck. And uh, flamethrower attack. It's not gonna be effective against my my hydro right here. You've tried. So here we go. Surf. Destroy them all. And how is this star? How is this star raptor faster than mine? Oh wow! He finally did something. He finally did something. Okay, so it's two to one. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. Surf attack. Like the big boys right here. Everybody gets hurt. Don't really care about your star raptor. And there goes Stunt Tank. It is a tanky Pokemon. And, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so all of Barry's Pokemon has been defeated. No, most of them. 
And he's coming out with his Infernape right here, so... Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna, like, use everything I got. And, uh, crud! It's due to two! This asshole. So he's finally contributing, but he's lost the most Pokemon. Yes, guys, I, I have an eternal hate for Barry. Alrighty. And you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna make his Pokemon faint. I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. Barry's just gonna be looking at me. He's like, what the hell, man? I was like, it is what it is. It's just business. It's just business. So here we go. Thunder attack. Why is that punishment? Oh, he, he has punishment? Wow. Thunder for the win. I'm looking at Barry right now. He's like, yeah. That's how you... Oh, crud. Man, I'm talking too much shit right now. And, uh, well... There goes his Infernape, thanks to me. I'm flipping you off, Barry. I'm flipping you off. And the team, like, the, the commanders, they're just looking at me. They're like, you guys are not teammates at all. You guys just hate each other. I was like, no. To be honest, I hate him. Like, he, he, he's just being a dick and all that stuff. So here we go. Ice Fang. Let's get it. Alrighty. Ice Fang. That is how you do it. Okay. Alrighty. And that's how you defeat the commanders both Mars and Jupiter right here, and uh, <laughs> they're like, I should have done the darn thing myself. And Barry, he's like, my, my Pokemon are tough, right? No, they're not. Of course, he heals us because he's still a nice guy and a tool. And he's like, show me how it's done, and he's just walking away. I'm like, okay, so you're not going to help me with this guy? You'd rather help me with these girls, but not this guy. Flipping you off, Barry. So, anywho, Cyrus is coming out with a red chain right here. And he's going to try and pry open the another dimension right here. So he's going to open it up right now. And holy shit. Look what's going on right now. The red chain is reacting. And the other, Palkia. Mythical Pokemon in the Master of Space and Dimension. I just paraphrasing right there. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Two big old balls right there. Oh, damn. Holy crap. So as you can see, guys, Cyrus has just opened dimensions to Dialga and Palkia. And these are two Pokemon that has, you know, shaped the world in, as... As how it is right here, and he wants him to do his bidding and all that stuff to create an entirely new world. Cyrus, you are something's going up up there, you know that. And uh, resetting to everything to zero, he wants everything in complete perfection. Yeah, but then something crazy happens right here, guys. Alright, so as you can see, the three emotional Pokemon right here are coming out on the, the top, and uh, he's like, I should have ex expected as much. Okay. What do you expect? I don't even know. The being of knowledge, the being of willpower, and the being of emotion. Why am I calling them the emotion Pokemon? I don't even know. The Pokemon have protect Sinnoh, pathetic and worthless. Okay, so, they, yeah, they are trying to protect Sinnoh right here and uh, symbolize spirit, balance, and either Pokemon of time or space. Okay. But they can't maintain the balance against two. Not with both Dialga and Palkia. They come here just in, va in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Draven, you've constantly interfered in my uh, bidding and all that stuff. There's no time, yada, yada, yada. It will have ripped away from you and from your Pokemon. Holy crap, this guy is, like, really, really... Crazy, and uh, next thing you know it, something's going on right here, guys. Something crazy is going on. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. As, as my Latin my Latin brothers would say, El Kukui. Cyrus, interesting. So there's a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Oh my god, El Kukui. 
And, uh, oh damn, oh damn. So here we have the third Pokemon, Giratina, guys. And it has been summoned, and, uh, oh damn. So there is a new dimension, and Cynthia's just gotten over here, and she's like, no! So now we have to follow all three of these uh, legendary Pokemon inside the, uh, the, the, the gateway to uh, probably hell. I don't even know. Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, it's going to be probably an hour long. Trust me on this one. we got to follow them, and we're going to take care of business. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.